boxing fans out there, how are you doing? You know what time it is, don't you? Helmet of the month. Now this is the time where all the votes are in and we basically just rinse 10 lots of people regarding the behaviour that's uh, unbecoming as gentlemen in the sport of boxing in the month of February so here we go in at number 10 if you've got a problem and no one else can help and if you can find them maybe you can hire the Bean Team that's right Bean aka Jigsaw and Ben Shalom, aka the Wet Gherkin. But Ben is, I tell you what, if I had to find another replacement, he's very different to Eddie, yeah. but someone I really love working with. I mean, I just have absolutely adored every minute of our relationship so far. Okay, he is. Cool. He's, um, he's, he's brilliant and he's got a fantastic team. And uh, you know, he's, he's, he's young and he's, uh, sometimes I think he's like my younger brother. Sometimes I think he's like my son. Sometimes I think he's far too intelligent for me. But he's, he's a. Oh, let these into boxing. Oh. oh, what is going on? Hey, eh? I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I feel, I feel cheated that these people are hovering around cool people in the sport of boxing. Because these are some obviously not cool, are they? They never make the cool board, would they, or the Sub Zero board in top on top gear, would they? So. In at number 10, take a bow chaps, it's Ben Shalom, the wet gherkin, and Bean, part of the Bean team, not the dream team, the Bean team, that's right, so peace out a pair of them, take a bow boys, take a bow. It's so long, so long Omar, um, it's... In at number nine. It's Flex! The Ingle Pringles is that way. 49p a packet. How are you doing, Flex? Hope you're well. You knew you were going to make it into the top ten, didn't you, Flex? After you were uh, drinking Kelbrook's sweat. I mean, what is all that about? Whether you drank the sweat or not, or whether it were trick camera work so that you didn't drink it, what sort of man would want to brag off about drinking another man's sweat? I mean, what next? What, what, what would you be willing to swallow next off this other man? I mean, it's helmet behaviour and I can't, I can't believe it that you, that you did it or even if you didn't do it and you, and you wanted to, people to make out that you did it totally embarrassing from you Flex totally embarrassing but what I want to know is this Flex if a four fighter on your watch fails a dope test are you going to hand your licence into the British Boxing Board of No Control that's what I want to know Flex alright so take a bow number nine Dominic Flex Ingle, take a bow, son. You're in Porky's Corner. Pound for pound, top 10 helmets for Feb 2022. In at number 8, it's Ben Davidson and Josh Taylor. Boxer size Ben and Josh, the Euro level fighter. What can we say, eh? What sort of people are going to take a tonking like that of Jack Catchell, then come out and say we're winning fight? You were begging for a knockout in championship rounds, Ben. Championship mentality! Championship mentality! What's that? No school boxing training. Get the fuck out of here! You don't know what you're doing! You've winged it for this long, you've lost two world champions and Josh Taylor will be leaving you now. He's not going to stay with you now. What's going to happen if he gets saved up in his next fight? He's going to regret it all his life. I don't know what you're going to do, Ben, but Josh Taylor carrying off like you thought you won the fight. 
Helmet behaviour from the Peria. Big PR campaign. You got beat, end of. Why don't you do an Awara Davis? When he got beat by Vasquez, but got the decision, he came out and said, you know what, I got beat. You can't bring yourself to do that, and that's what's wrong with the sport of boxing. So, boxer size Ben Davidson and Josh Taylor. Take a bow, lads. Take a bow. Porky's Corner number 8 for 2022. Feb. In at number 7. Lock up your daughters. Lock up your granddaughters. Lock up your sisters, your nieces. And any women that you know who's a boxer or a ring card girl because watch out, the gad is about. You better watch out because the gad is about. What can we say about this man that's already been said? What I want to say is this who gives a fuck about your world exclusives, Gareth A. Davis? Especially after Fury played you like a cheap violin with that step aside story. And I mean, you put that out. Because Fury told you to, and then Joshua got rid of you, didn't he? He won't do interviews with you now. So, you've just made yourself look stupid. You're now officially Team Fury, but you're supposed to work for a, a national newspaper, so shouldn't you be neutral? Eh? Instead of Team this person, you're supposed to be neutral, lad. But you're constant hovering around ring card girls and female fighters and females in the media I find repulsive I think you need to be watched alright so the GAD aka Gareth A Davis take a bow lad take a bow because you are number seven on Porky's Corner for February 2022 in at number six it's Anthony Bellew the reappearing man he was the disappearing man, but now he's the reappearing man. Oh my God. This man just keeps giving and giving and giving, doesn't he? He can't help himself, but what this man's done now is come out. After years of slating Canelo, he's now saying Canelo is a freak and he's an Adonis and is doing something that nobody's ever done. I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's unprecedented what he's doing in boxing. Adi. He's going through the weight divisions and he's not just stealing a title off a weak opponent and going back to another weight division. Similar things like Floyd Mayweather done. He cherry picked champions. This guy's going into weight categories and he's fighting the best in each weight division. It's never been done before, not through so many weights, as I said, it's unprecedented. So I'm a huge fan of what he's doing. Uh, it's never been done before, so it's exciting times. <laughs> yeah, Tony, you forgot about all them things that you said about Canelo, Tony. You know, with his drug charges and cheating and public stonings and all that. And now look at you, hula hooping, eh? Hula hooping. You're that far up Canelo's arse, you're eating his food for him, Tony. So, Anthony Bellew, the reappearing man and biggest brown noser in boxing. Take a bow. Porky's Corner, pound for pound number six for Feb 2022. Take a bow, la. Rocky! I'm not going out to get him, you know. You know why? I've got my good trainers on. He'll be here in a minute. Right, in at number five, it's Eddie Hills. The 4 and 0 Iceman from Billy Ricky. Free by way of, but no fucking footage. Essex under 19 fast bowler, no footage. Essex under 16 opening batsman, no footage. Marathon runner. Did he ever even complete a marathon or did we just get him walking through it, finish in line? Marathon runner, podcaster, male model, author, darts director, football director, ra radio one DJ, <laughs> singer, karaoke singer. Oh my God, the list is endless. Jack of all trades, master of one, you could maybe say, and that boxing promoting, but he's an on-top boxing promoter, isn't that right, Eddie? We've never seen you overcome adversity yet, yeah? Unlike Warren and Don King and Frank Warren, uh, but Don King and Bob Arum, all them guys have all overcome adversity, haven't they? What have you ever overcome in your life, Eddie? You wrote a book called Fucking Relentless. 
When have you ever been relentless in your life? If you were relentless, you'd be winning purse bids. You've just lost another purse bid. You're unbelievable. Is it Andrade Parker you've just lost? You've lost the White Fury one. You don't win purse bids. Mr. Relentless. So, Eddie Hearn. Take a bow, lad. Take a bow. Porky's Corner, number five. Eddie Hills, should I say. The 4 and 0 Ice Man. 75% KO ratio. Unbelievable. Take a bow, Eddie, number five. Take a bow. Who you got? Never better, mate, you know. I've been in these positions in round three where, you know, the greedy, angry bastard's giving it all in two. We're going to go in there, we're going to stay at range and teach him a lesson. Push, push, push. 
such such chunky elbow. Do you want to do another five? Do it easy. Yeah, easy. Light work. <laughs> In at number four, it's the can man, or should we say the titty man, Dylan White. Anybody who wants it can get it as long as they've got COVID and they're over 40. What can we say about this man that hasn't already been said? 1200 days they're now saying, mandatory. Not true. Not true. I put all the information from the WBC on my channel months ago. Was never true. But finally, they called it, he got into position and look what happened. His promoter didn't even win purse bid. Dylan White can't even turn up to a press conference. That's helmet behaviour. I thought we were all supposed to be moving the sport of boxing forward, Dylan. That is helmet behaviour. You should be totally and utterly embarrassed, Dylan White. It's just craziness. Eh? I think along with that and the fact that you let, you're allowing a man to run around saying he's your brother. Bruv, bruv, bruv. Give your head a shake, all right, because you're just embarrassing the sport of boxing. Yeah, we know that your, your promoter doesn't like Frank Warren and all that, but we're talking about Wembley here, yeah? 100,000 people, the Lineal Championship of the World, and if you, if you win that, you're going to fight for all other belts with Joshua or Usyk or whatever they're going to do with them belts. You're going to be mixed for that, so what's the problem? Hey, are you thick or something? Because I don't even think you want to fight. I mean, when have we ever had a fight this big and one boxer's not turning up and making all these demands? You can't even turn up for a press conference. That to me says you don't want to fight. And you're just sticking to what it says in contract. So you should be embarrassed. So Dylan White, number four, pound for pound, Porky's Corner for February 2022. Take a bow, you helmet. Take a bow. I don't even like you, you prick. In at number three, it's Bricktop. Bricktop, you don't usually get votes, but you've had a load of votes this week, Bricktop. Late surge for you. You've not put a show on this year and we're in March. That's helmet behavior. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bricktop? Get some boxing on. That's what we want to see, boxing. We don't want to see no boxing. So Bricktop, you know, fans have had to even it out this month. You've not put nothing on whatsoever. All you're doing is talking a good game. So get something in that contract and get Dylan White to them press conferences. Because if this fight doesn't happen, you've played your part in it as well. All right, so get these people locked down in contracts. All right, Bricktop. So Frankie Warren, take a bow. Bronze medal position on Porky's Corner, Feb 2022. Take a bow. In the silver medal position on Porky's Corner, February 2022. <laughs> it's Ebony Bridges. Oh my God. Ebony Bridges. What can we say about this, this girl that's been dragged out of Witherspoons and been given a pair of boxing gloves? Well, she can't fight for Toffee. Never been a Legionite supporter. I've been Legionite all my life. No, you aren't. Eddie Hills, the four and a white man from Billy Ricky, three by way off, no fucking footage. Eddie Hills told you to piggyback on the back of Josh Warrington. That's what he told you to do. Just like Campbell Atten and his dad, the piggybacking on back of football teams. It's what people do in boxing. And that's all you're doing. You're going to be one of them people that goes on the card, on the Josh Warrington undercard. That's it. You were never Leeds United from day one. Never was you Leeds United. It was a Twitter poll that had you picked Leeds United. But you knew that it was going to be Leeds anyway because you was told by Eddie Hills, the 4 and ice Iceman from Billy Ricky, free by way of that you were going to be associated with Leeds United. So stop spinning rubbish. You're a seven and one fighter that's had gifts. You beat one person with your winning record. Get a grip of yourself. Get fucking over yourself. You can't fight for Toffee. All right, Shannon Courtney punched you all over. So Evan the Bridges, take a bow. Number two on Porky's Corner, take a bow. With your fucking fishnets, stockings, fighting in ring. What the fuck's the sport coming to? In the gold medal position, the condom of champions. What can we say about this man that hasn't already been said? 
this man could stop at an intercity 125 train at full pelt this man is the Benny Hill of boxing the Albert Trotter of the fight game it's Ian John Lewis the Calamity James of combat sports Ian John Lewis how the fucking hell are you still fucking in a fucking job at the border control you are a fucking joke you're a joke mate I, I, how the fuck are you involved in boxing with all the bad things that you've done to the sport you're a fucking mess you're a mess mate a mess I'm calling you out if you're not a mess fucking come on my channel answer some boxing questions you had O'Hara Davis beating Vasquez by three rounds O'Hara Davis stood on ring apron at end and said I got beat comfortably what are you fucking watching you went they went for hometown decision again didn't you MTK fighter you've done it at weekend aren't you with Josh Taylor you can't help yourself can you you're either intimidated and you feel like you have to do that or you're on the take or you're fucking incompetent it's one or other in it so what I say to that is fuck off get out of the fucking sport you're useless mate useless dosser big dosser that's what you are mate a dosser you're embarrassing this sport you've just ruined the kid's life there when is he ever gonna fight for undisputed again never it only comes around every 10 15 year that I feel disgusted watching you your performances I saw you stop Enzo Macronelli for fuck all you, you disgust me you disgust me and you know all this hiding behind fucking uh, Robert Smith and that when a boxer's had a fight he has to come out and do an interview you fuckers don't when you make mistakes do you so Ian John Lewis gold medal winner Porky's Corner helmets of the month 2022 take a fucking bow you prick you helmet take a fucking bow Come here. Stay here. Come here, let me get lead on you. So I'm not chasing you for another hour. Come on, this way. Come on. This is what happens when you let your dogs off leads. You always keep watching them. <laughs> Come on. Let's get in that car. <laughs> <laughs> 